on my boat is 12 volts and 24 volts and 48 volts. Uh, but it's and they're not tied together at the alternator, that's for sure. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert sessions here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt and we're talking to Nigel Calder. Today we have another electrical question and that's the following. My boat has a 12 volt and a 24 volt system. I had to get the alternator rebuilt and while the alternator was out of the boat I tried to create a circuit diagram. I checked the voltage of various bus bars to determine what is 12 volt and what is 24 volt. I got bizarre readings, for example 8 volt and 20 volt. It turned out that the negatives of the 12 volt and 24 volt systems were only connected through the alternator and because the alternator was out of the boat, they were isolated and the ground voltage of each system would quickly diverge by 4 or 5 volts. I ran a conductor between a 12 volt and a 24 volt negative bus bar to have a common ground. Was it correct and safe to do this and should the two grounds only be made through the alternator? Well, well that's a really we're... interesting <laughs> setup. Yeah. That's not mm -hmm. one I've heard before. And absolutely, on uh, if we've got grounded DC systems on our boats, which almost all of us have, we do sometimes have isolated DC systems and occasionally we'll have uh, maybe a grounded 12 volt and an isolated 24 volt or vice versa or whatever, in which case the, the negative sides would be separated. But on all of our boats with grounded DC systems, uh, all of the negatives should be tied together. And that includes, uh, on my boat, it's 12 volts and 24 volts and 48 volts. Uh, but it's, and they're not tied together at the alternator, that's for sure. Typically speaking, we have uh, negative uh, bus bars for the different voltages. So all of the, the conductors that are, that are load carrying, uh, current carrying, which is the negative conductors, end up at a negative bus bar and the positives at a positive bus bar. And then we tie the negative bus bars to a grounding bus bar. And that's where all of them get tied together. And that tie from the negative bus bars to the grounding bus bars is not normally current carrying. We can on most of our boats actually, because electrically we're tying them together, we can, we can make one big bus bar, which is now our negative and our grounding bus bar. But absolutely, these all need to be tied together and it shouldn't be done at the alternator. And uh, making that connection that he's made is, or she's made is correct. Um, and if there's a separate grounding bus bar, then rather than tying the negatives directly together, we, it would probably make that connection at the grounding bus bar. But one way or another, it needs to be there. And then he or she should probably remove the connection at the alternator, otherwise you have a ground loop, which I guess you want to try to avoid, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for your take on that, Nigel. And if you want to learn more about grounding systems in general and uh, yeah, grounded DC systems, how to set that up, different voltages, check out our electrical courses at boathow2.com. See you soon.